Hey, it's me, Destin. We're in the Gulf of Mexico. And we're about to go fishing, and I'm gonna beat all these guys in fishing. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna be me. All right, ladies, how we doing over here? We're our best. We'll see how we're doing over here. Got trigger fish. Trigger fish? I call it. You called it? So the reason they call it a trigger fish is because you have to pull the trigger in order to get the dorsal fin to go down. Okay, if you ask me, it is awesome anytime there's some type of mechanical device built into an animal. Well, that's just the case with the trigger fish. The front dorsal fin is a spine that locks in position. It cannot be folded down until the rear one is pulled backwards, just like pulling a trigger on a gun. Now, this is good for two reasons. The first reason is a trigger fish likes to hide in a hole, and it'll lock the front dorsal fin. No predator can get it out unless it chooses to unlock itself. Secondly, if a predator tries to eat the trigger fish, the huge dorsal fin on front will rip its insides apart, killing it. So, it's a built-in defense mechanism. I got my dad a chicken for Father's Day. And I want to show you a pretty interesting method that chickens have to keep their heads stable. Uh, you know, the guy that's in control, you have feedback loops. And so you have to know your position and where your relative motion is going so you can compensate for it. But chickens are really good at this. So I'll show you. Watch his head stay totally stationary. 